Uh, so I want to talk a little bit about stripper plates in down corn. This is another one. It, it seems like you can go through 15 different adjustments and then one of them is the one that gets you going again. Um, so I run them a little bit wider in down corn, uh, maybe an inch and three eighths down here at the bottom and an inch and a half at the top because we're trying to get that material uh, into the row unit. We're trying to reduce the amount of energy that it takes to force feed uh, back into that uh, row unit. The other thing is it's really important to keep them centered uh, when I'm in down corn uh, so that the row unit and the, and the revolving window uh, all line up together at the same time. The other thing I want to talk a little bit about is in down corn you're going to get some where the, the ear comes in and takes some of the kernels off and then the ear will want to wedge into the row unit and then it just stops and all the stalks start piling up in front of it. People often ask me, why is the bottom of the stripper plate, why is that gap tighter than it is at the top? So if we're inch and three eighths down here and we're inch and a half at the top, that's because when this ear wedges into the row unit, when we apply energy to it, that stripping gap keeps getting wider and wider. So it's easy to get it to flow on up there. If you have one row unit on your cornea that constantly keeps plugging with an ear in it, Chances are it means that the bottom is wider, so it's open like this, and the ears just start plugging in that taper, and they've got to be inverted. They've got to be tight at the bottom, wide at the top. <music>